Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a very kind of different video because I am going to be swatching the Anastasia Moonchild palette, or as I like to refer to it as my unicorn palette, and comparing it to some of the newer ColourPop highlights. This was actually highly requested by a good friend of mine because she's not sure if she wants to buy the Moonchild or the ColourPop. And so I figured I would do a comparison of some of those colors because they are very similar. <laughs> All right. So let's get into the swatches. This is the inside of the Moonchild palette. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful, and I have already done a little bit of research to figure out which of these color pops match up closest to the colors in this palette. So I'm going to start with Pink Heart down here, which has a little bit of a pink shift to it. And I'm going to put that right across the top of my hand here. So you can see this lovely kind of very iridescent, light, pinky type shade. The closest match is the Over the Moon Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. Now this one has, in the pot, it looks identical. Absolutely identical. But when swatched, the ColourPop one is a bit more sheer and a lot more sparkly. So next to each other, you can see that the Anastasia one that is here is quite a bit more white with that pink shift, whereas this one is a bit more iridescent, and it has a lot more of this like pink and purple glitter to it. It's not a super heavy glitter. It's nothing that's like crazy amounts of glitter on your face, but it is very much more glittery. It's not really chunky, but it is very, very glittery. So if you can see, there is a decent amount of difference there, but they are both beautiful. So I can't really say that it's bad. Let's see. So that is definitely the comparison of swatches there. You can, you can kind of see that there is that difference there. So the next one I'm going to swatch for you is this one called Purple Horseshoe. And it is this one in this corner here. And yes, it is a bit of a purpley blue color. And I honestly thought this was going to match up better with the Blue Moon, but it doesn't. Um, the closest match is going to be this Purple Horseshoe. And this is ColourPop's Honeymoon. So I will swatch um, all three of these shades in the palette so that you can see how they compare to this one here. So first I'll, I'll yeah. So first I'm going to do Blue Ice, which is this one here. And it is this lovely blue iridescent shade, like total and utter unicorn colors. Then next to it, I am going to do Blue Moon, which is down here, which definitely is more of a silvery blue than the other one. It's a lot more icy, I want to say. A lot less blue, a lot more icy. And this last one that I'm going to do is the Purple Horseshoe, which as you can see, has a lot more of that kind of purpley blue tone in it. And what I will do so that you can see it compared to all three of these is I'm going to take the ColourPop one and swatch it next to all three. So this is the ColourPop one. It is a beautiful iridescent blue with a slight purple shift to it. And it is very much iridescent and glittery like the other one. Because all three of these are very, very iridescent and glittery. So there it is swatched along the bottom. You can kind of see it is a lot more iridescent. But it does have 
very similar tones to the three kind of purpley blue tones that are in the palette. The least the one that's least like it like it is Blue Moon. The blue ice is has very similar tones, but in person the purple horseshoe is probably the closest match tone wise. But like I said, it's got a lot more of that iridescent glitter in it. So it's it's really hard to show that it's more glittery, but it is a very, very close dupe. It's not complete, but it's close. The last one I'm going to compare is Lucky Clover, which is the more green shade in the palette, to Prelune, which is the more green ColourPop shade. So this is the more green toned one. This is Lucky Clover. And it is absolutely beautiful. Like, it's one of those colors you're like, really? Green? But it's beautiful. It's so pretty. All right. And swatching it next to Lucky Clover. Once again, we are talking about a bit more sheer of a color and a bit more glittery. So those are the two swatched next to each other. You can see they both have that green shift, but the one underneath is the color pop. It does have that green color to it. It's very, very similar in tone, but it's a lot more sheer and a lot more glittery. Overall, the color pop ones, they are absolutely beautiful and it just is going to come down to preference because they are a bit more sheer and they are a bit more glittery, but they are all totally beautiful and wearable in their own right. So, do I think you need to buy this if you want just these kind of more fun tones for your highlights? No, absolutely not. If you just want a green highlight, go and get you just a green highlight. It's There's no reason to have to get a whole palette. I love unicorn palette. Like, I, lo I love this. But I also really love these. So that's pretty much my take. That is my comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!